get a graffiti on a wall. Some people, oh, that's vandalism. Others, wow, that's art. And me, how the hell did they get up there? When you look at these two pictures, what difference can you spot between them? Of course, there is a huge difference. First one is art and second one is distortion. In the world, street art is very popular, but for Georgians it's brand new and it has been only a few years since the first artwork appeared in the street. I was eight years old when I first saw a painting on the wall and I was really satisfied and I couldn't imagine how a person could draw on the wall with pencils or crayons. I didn't know that spray paints existed. I really liked the idea of drawing on the wall and when I came back Back home, I started drawing on my room wall. I was really enjoying my time when my mom came in and she was really angry. Before the appearance of the first street paintings, the streets of Georgia were full of pointlessly scribbled walls and many of them still remain. For some people, writing or drawing on the wall is just a way of expressing their opinion or having fun. For others, it's just a way of expressing love and they write things like I love you or L plus M means love. But none of them realize how much damage and distort they are doing to the city with these simple and seemingly insignificant writings. In the past, people thought that such, such pointlessly scribbled walls were also a piece of art and considered that it gave beauty to the city. But nowadays, people's attitude is slowly changing and uh, however, still lots of people think that uh, street art is also a distortion of the city and people must not be allowed to draw such kinds of things on the walls. So what is the aim of the street art and why do we need them? The aim of the street art is to have influence on passers-by and to make them uh, surprise or smile. In the last few years, many street paintings have appeared in jo Georgia and uh, all of them have different purposes. Most of them are designed just for beauty and to attract people's attention. However, there are paintings which illustrate today's global problems. On the left bank of Nkwari, there is a beautiful painting by Georgian painter Musia Keburia, and she has painted five different characters of five children, all from different continents. These children are reflecting global issues such as deforestation, wars, global warming, air pollution, and poverty. These drawings are really amazing, but it also makes us think about these problems and really touches us. Another Georgian painter known as Gagos has, uh, has drawn a number of paintings about our current situation, living with COVID-19. He clearly reflects our everyday life with this virus and its regulations. He has also drawn a painting called Domino Effects, and it says that only uh, it says that only saving the nature can stop the ecological collapse. Then again, we cut the trees and replace them with the buildings. There are also a number of uh, informational paintings on the, uh, in the Georgia. A Girls Wave Georgian organization has drawn a number of uh, street paintings uh, which are informational. Uh, one of them says that girls married at an early age are often left without education, career and social contacts. Another one says, because of choosing sex on the basis of gender, in 1990-2010, 25,000 girls were not born. I think that all of them are piece of artwork, they attract people's attention and make us think about this or that problem. And what is the aim of the just drawing on the wall? Nothing. Just satisfying personal interests of a particular person. What can be done to avoid these ugly walls? In my opinion, the public and especially teenagers need to realize how much damage they are doing to the city with the simple and seemingly insignificant writings. As I know, writing or drawing on the wall without a license is uh, punished under the article of hooliganism, which means a small fine or just uh, community service. Although this law exists, but it does not work in terms of drawing on the wall because it's hard to investigate all such cases. That's why I think that this law should be tightened and the separate articles should be given to those who scribble walls. I think that the fines should be higher and it should be strict, strictly controlled. We can change these scribbled walls with something inspirational and beneficial. When you pass by, you, you automatically catch the code and your brain starts to remember it. Uh, this, uh, if we change this, the, our city will be more attractive and people more thoughtful. 
We should encourage artists to try to beautify distorted walls and make new paintings out of bad-looking words. This way, the old ugliness will disappear and new beauty will be added to the city. In my opinion, the purpose of graffiti should be spreading positivity and making people think about important problems. This field of painting is necessary to develop and fill our city with more meaningful paintings.